This is question number seven on the study guide for skill quiz number four. Um, the question says, what is the measurement of x? So we have x right here. And then we know that we have two similar triangles. So I'm going to draw my small triangle first. And the small triangle is going to be three on the base and two on the height. And then my larger triangle is going to be 11 on the height. And then the base is 3 plus x. So 3 plus x right here would be the base. So now we can just use our formula that we've talked about in class to figure out, um, or the ratio that we've talked about in class to figure out what the value of x is. So I have 3, I have 2, and then I have 3 plus x and 11. I'm going to use this as my unknown value, and I'm going to say 3 plus x here. Um, and, oops, I forgot to label. So this should be one tick mark, one tick, tick mark. This will be two tick marks. And then this will be three tick marks. So this, if this is one tick mark, it matches up with this side, which is also one tick mark, which is three. And then I need a known side from the same triangle. So the known side from the same triangle will be 11. Uh, it has two tick marks. Two tick marks over here matches up with two. And then I can just solve for x. So I need to undo the division here. So multiply by 11. Multiply by 11, this cancels out. 11 times 3 would be 33 divided by 2 equals 3 plus x. Whoops, 3 plus x. Um, and then 33 divided by 2 would be, um, well, let's try that on the calculator. 33 divided by 2 is 16.5 equals 3 plus x. And then I need to get x by itself, so I need to undo this. So it's a positive 3. I need to subtract 3, subtract 3. And we have x is 16.5 minus 3 would be 13.5. So let's see if that makes sense. Um, this right here, 13.5 plus 3, would be 16.5. Um, so if we look at this, 16.5 uh, is slightly larger than 11, so the base should be a little bit bigger than the height. Base right here, 3, slightly larger than 2. Um, so the ratio makes sense here.